I'm talking about the dude. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> We are playing Never Have I Ever Gay Man Edition. Boom. We are both gay men, so um, I think that's all I have to say. Well, I hope. No, so. but, I don't know. I mean, I don't. You can, you can be what you want to be. Uh, no, I, yeah. But today I am a gay man, so. Love that. Yeah. I Tomorrow. Guess so. Who knows? Never have I ever been asked if you haven't slept with a woman, then how do you know? Ah! Okay. The audacity. <laughs> Three, <laughs> two, two, one. I'm kind of like in between. I like hitting straight men with this one. If you've never slept with, with a man, man, how do you know? Like, I've definitely been asked, have I slept with a woman? But then I've never been asked, like, well, how do you know if you're this gay or straight? Yeah. And it's kind of like you get asked this from a young age. Oh, yes. You're like, yes. How, yes. how did As you a know? Teenager, when you're already questioning things. Yeah, and it's like, how did you know? And it's like, how did you know that you were straight? Yeah. 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 It was just like... You know, no, it's just intrinsically within you. Never have I ever been attracted to a straight man. Boom. I have. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I have. Yeah, it's very easy because they're just a man and you're like, oh, okay. Wow, very, very cute, very nice, very pretty. Just because you're attracted to someone doesn't mean they're going to like you. Also, just because you're attracted to someone doesn't mean we want to like, Get freaky with yeah, every moving thing. Yeah, get up on them, exactly. You know? um, never have I ever dressed in drag. Okay, I have. You're on the fence. Mm. I don't think I have like done it officially, like full wig. But I mean like not to the standard of a full have. Yeah, okay, cool. I but, oh, <laughs> we got to change that. My drag name uh, has been Tommy Margarita. Ooh, salty. Salty, <laughs> salty rim. Salty and fresh. Yeah. Um, it's really fun. Like the explora exploration of sexuality is really cool and it doesn't really have to be one thing and fit a certain mold either. So Love that. if you want to put like just a bit of lippy on, you can you can call that drag. If you want to put a little lash on, you could call that drag. You don't have to get rid of that beard, put on a wig. <laughs> you do whatever you want. I love that. Yes. Love that. So I have. You have, yes, hundred percent. I kinda wish that I could say yes, I have done this. I haven't, but you know. Never have I ever drag a just thing. Yeah, okay. It's coming for you. Some say you're all born naked and, and the, the rest, rest is, is drag. drag. Yeah, yeah, someone might. Someone. Someone just said Someone yeah. out there. Yeah. <laughs> and never have I ever been asked if I was a top or a bottom. Story of my mother. <laughs> Life! <laughs> yeah. Of course, everyone has. Yeah. I don't know if you meet people out organically, like yeah. that does not happen. No. But if you're on Grindr, you pretty much get asked <laughs> straight away. It can definitely like have people go, okay, no, like I'm not going to have anything to do with you now that I know that we're not compatible in yeah. that regards. So, uh, yeah, totally. It depends on the person. Yeah. Right? And um, the situation, the moment. Have you douche? <laughs> this is okay if it comes from another gay person. Yeah. If it comes from a straight oh, person true. though, you'll Thank never you. know. Bye. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Stop asking. Boom. <laughs> never have I ever had someone say to me, you don't seem gay and think it's a compliment. Three, two, one. I never. never. No, everyone just is like, you're a big gay boy. So, love <laughs> yeah. Love that. I literally have people like be like, oh, but you, you know, you're not that gay. That's not cool to say. And regardless of if you're mask or femme or however you present, like your own identity is your own. Mm. And it's all cute. It hasn't really happened to me, so I can't really speak on it. When but it does, yeah, go straight for the man. <laughs> the jugular. <laughs> the jugular. <laughs> Bye. Um, never have I ever been asked to be someone's gay best friend. <laughs> or GBF. Don't, you don't have to label it as a, a gay best friend. Oh, I reject it. I've never been asked it. Oh. If you want to have a best friend, uh, just call that person your best friend. How about we just be best friends? Yeah, how about we just be best friends? Yeah. How about I just be your best friend? Yeah. Preach it, sister. Never have I ever been afraid to be myself. <sighs> Ooh. Um, okay, let's go. Three, two, one. 
I have. I have. Uh, yeah. I don't like I, 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 I went all throughout uni as a straight man. Definitely high school is the biggest um, place where I couldn't be myself. Yeah. I definitely had to hide who I was. I've grown up in suburbs where like I've walked down the street and been called like multiple times. Like I remember being like 16 years old when like I like had my hair was pink or something. I got on a train and it was literally like not even 10 minutes from the city and a tradie like called me a f and said Mardi Gras over mate. And like the train was like completely packed and I was a 16 year old boy and like shit that like, you know. So unfortunately that's like the biggest part of my life where I have had to hide it. So like I think in the back of my head like I'm always conscious yeah. of it because it just sucked that like, you know, these were like adults commuting from work and nobody thought to say anything or stick up for me. I think I've been able to show you a bit more of who I am and that's definitely grown and I've expanded on that. I think it's a journey and because you spend 20 years of your life or whatever or exactly, or yeah. however many years <laughs> like suppressing this person and then all of a sudden you're an adult, you've got your freedom but it's like, oh shit, who the f am I? It's like, yeah, you're trying to traverse your way in this world that traditionally hasn't you haven't feel accepted in and you're like, oh, I am my own person now, but I don't know who that is and how to be that person because I've been shutting it out for so long. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's, it's a hard um, transition really to go from that point to that point. Yeah, I've definitely experienced that, like being afraid to be myself um, when I was younger and yeah, mirroring that definitely feels very comfortable and confident in who I am now um, and hope that any young queer people that are watching this know that like it always gets better mm. and adult life is really cool. That was really amazing. That was a little journey. Yeah, I feel like a little bit hot and emotional right oh, now. But uh, give me a little gorgeous hug. I think the biggest takeaway is that you don't need to hide who you are. You gotta be your true authentic self. Identify however you wanna identify or don't as well. That's perfectly okay. Yeah. To pull away from all the labels and just be you. That's how you find your people. That's how you find your tribe. That's how you find your community. And that's where you find peace within yourself. Yeah, but do it for you, that's really important.